Hello, all you gaming maestros. It is me, the gamer musician. And today I have got a video talking about some things from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, throughout a game's development, it will often go through more changes than one can even count. Some may be huge and time consuming, like EA removing microtransactions, or Nintendo overhauling the entire game engine and creating a new physics engine. Though, despite all that, the majority of changes are small and tiny ones. Usually, once a demo is playable, there won't be too many big changes, though some tiny changes may still take place. In this video, I'm going to lay out a couple of changes which I noticed took place in between the demo and footage we had during E3 2016 and the final game, which released on March 3rd, 2017. Now, I will not be going over a lot of the location changes, since Zeltic has already done this before. I'll link it in the description and cards and maybe I'll even imprint it directly into your brains with the power of science. And now I'm going to move on to some of the stuff I don't hear others talk about, some changes in the game, and also some possible reasons as to why these may in fact have taken place. Okay, cool, let's get started. Now, one incredibly small change I noticed, probably due to the amount of time I spent poring over the footage of the game before launch, was this. On the side of the woodcutter's hut in the Grey Plateau, there is a Stamella Shroom on the floor. However, in earlier footage, this was in fact a Rush Shroom, not a Stamella Shroom, and was attached to the rock, as Rush Shrooms commonly do. Now, I'm not completely certain, but I have a pretty decent theory as to why this is. As most of you probably know, the Woodcutter's House is quite close to one of the plateau's four shrines. Well, not including DLC, but you get me. Perhaps Nintendo realized that a mushroom which, when cooked, can increase stamina, just might be more useful for climbing up those peaks. Next up, I gotta talk about a couple of things that changed their names. One item, or more specifically insect, which had a name change was the Sizzle Wing Butterfly. Or, to you people who don't necessarily waste their times looking over obsolete footage of Nintendo games, the Summer Wing Butterfly. Now, this one I found pretty interesting, as in the final game, there were four of these butterflies. One of which was of course the Summerwing Butterfly, and the other three were the Winterwing, Thunderwing, and Smotherwing. Now this really confused me. It kinda gives off a feeling like they gave up halfway through. I have a feeling that in earlier builds of the game, the Winterwing Butterfly may have been called something like the Icewing or the Frostwing. If so, it would make a lot of sense that they named it and the Sizzlewing together. However, the other two butterflies kept their unseasoned names, though I guess looking at everything else, the Zelda team seemed to have a lot of trouble trying to fit lightning thunder items into their own categories with everything else, so who knows. Next up, I noticed that one of the first items in the game was renamed. The well-worn trousers. The trousers clothing item that Link can pick up from inside of the Shrine of Resurrection immediately upon waking up. Now, in the demo, these had a similar, but not identical name. The Well-Worn Pants. Now, I really don't know why this was changed. Well, more specifically, I don't even know why it was like this in the demo. Other trousers in the demo appeared to keep the trousers name, such as the Hylian trousers. Though, it honestly appears that at this point in the game's lifetime, they were still changing a lot of clothing's names. For example, the old man's warm doublet was, at this point, still called the Quilted Shirt, or even the freaking Champion's Tunic. In fact, the Champion's Tunic got more than a name change. During E3, the Champion's Tunic was still called the Champion's Shirt, and only had a defense stat of 3, compared to the final game's 5. Another interesting change can still be seen today. If you click on the subscribe button, you will leave beta and become a gaming maestro. Um, sorry. There were also quite a few locations that had their names changed. The Great Plateau Tower was, during E3, named Resurrection Tower. The River of the Dead was originally called Hylia River, which I think that name change worked really well for the mood of this area. And in one of the biggest changes from this demo to the final game, the Mount part of Mount Hylia was changed from MT Dot to M-O-U-N-T. 
Massive, I know. Oh, and I guess like half the shrines or something were renamed? Like Uorg was turned into Urog, Kam Yatak was turned into Kam Yatak, and Ker Namud was turned into Ker Namud. Massive, I know, crazy. Oh, and if you entered a shrine or arrived outside one for the first time, it would say Shrine XXX instead of XXX Shrine like in the final game. I know, these aren't really big changes, but I find it kind of interesting to look at how the game goes through in this section of the game. Development, stuff, magic, fancy, I don't know. Now, for the penultimate change I'm going to cover, I want to talk about something much more interesting. A cooked meal called Failed Experiment. Now, this is similar to the dubious food. Which first led me to think that perhaps they just renamed and modified the failed experiment of the final game. However, I had a quick look online and realized that the dubious food is also in the demo. So the dubious food was not a replacement, but was instead supposed to go alongside it. After a bit more looking around, I realized that this is probably what eventually became rock hard food. The failed experiment as a name just kind of fit the food item really well and would have really fit into the game style of goofy, but at the same time serious and depressing. But you know what they say, beggars can't be choosers. Finally, I got one more thing that I noticed on my first playthrough of the game, like within my first couple of hours. The overworld boss Stone Talus, or as it was known before the game came out, the much more interesting name Step Talus. Now, I have really been thinking since the game came out as to why they may have changed this name. But I think I've finally come to a conclusion about it. In the finalized version of the game, there are many different types of Talus creatures, including fire and ice ones. Now, this may be a bit of a stretch, but what if perhaps Nintendo already had it named Stone Talus, but changed Stone Talus to Step Talus in the demo? This might have been done so as to not alert the community as to the other types of Talus, and, you know, keep it a surprise. I mean, I know that I found them quite a shock, and I'd spent hours researching Step Talus in a theory that ended up explaining mining accidents. Jeez, I miss those old super out there prediction theories I made that were all practically wrong back in the day. Well, that's basically what I found for this video. I know there were definitely more changes from E3 to the final game. And hey, if you notice more, like, tweet them at me, I guess. I'd really love to see them. And with that, I am finished for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment reminding me that I have no life and telling me I should go find love instead of noticing differences in mushrooms. Oh, and don't forget to like the video too. Or dislike, I don't really care, I care, I care, please like it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to me for some more video game music themed videos from The Gamer Musician.